limits and continuity. The basic form of a limit looks like this. Limit of f of x as x approaches 2. So lim is limit, f of x is a function, such as x squared, then x arrow 2 is x approaches 2, and 2 can be any number. We also have left and right sided limits. So left sided limit, you'd put a minus above the 2, and right sided limit, we would put a plus above the 2. This basically means, so minus, it's we're approaching f of x, x equals 2 from the left hand side, and plus means we're approaching 2 from the right hand side. If these two are equal, then this limit exists. If they're not equal, then it would not exist. We'd write D and E or does not exist. Let's look at an example to make it easier to understand. So we have this piecewise function right here. So for different ranges of x, we have different functions. Um, so the open-ended ones, such as x less than minus 2, we would um, we'd use a whole or empty circle right here. That's how we would represent it, the endpoint. And then if it's closed, so it contains an equal, we would put a closed circle, like right here. And then let's do some examples of limits. So if we have the limit as x approaches, for example, 1 from the left hand side, we would get, so if we look here, as we're approaching x equal to 1, we see that it approaches y equals 0. So this would equal 0. And then limit as x approaches 1 from the right, we see here, as we approach this x equals 1, we see y is equal to 1. So these two are not equal. So we would say the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equal to does not exist. OK, and then let's try at limit x approaches minus 2 from the left, which would be right here. Approaching x equals minus 2 from the left, we see y is equal to 3. So this would be 3. And then limit as x approaches minus 2 from the right, we see would also be uh, y equals 3. And so these are equal. So the limit as x approaches minus 2 of f of x would be 3. However, notice that there's this dot right here. There's this point right there, um, represented by this um, point right here. So at x equals minus 2, we have f of x equal to 1. And so f of x is equal to f of 
minus 2 is equal to 1, which does not equal the limit. This means that this point right here is not continuous. In order to be continuous, f of x has to exist, or I mean has to be defined. Number two, let's use f of a. So we're talking about at a point. And then the limit as x approaches a of f of a has to exist. And the limit of x approaches a f of a has to be equal to f of a. If all these are true, then it's continuous, which obviously doesn't, f right here, f minus 2 isn't continuous because the limit does not equal the value at the point. Some other things about limits. Say we have, say we're trying to solve a limit. We have no graph. It's just x approaches, let's use a again, of say the function is x, then this would just be a. So that's a simple rule. And same if it was limit as x approaches a, xn, it would still be a n. So you just substitute the a n for x. And then also, if we're doing a limit, then we have f of x, and then any operation such as plus, minus, times, divide, some other function g of x. And this would be, you could split them apart. So you could have x approaches a f of x, and then plus the limit of x approaches a of g of x, and then whatever operation it is. And also, if you have limit as x approaches a of some some constant in front, b of f of x, then this is equivalent to b x approaches a of f of x. So you can bring the constant out. And then let's have another example. We have limit as x approaches infinity. So we haven't seen this before. If it's x approaches infinity, and we have a of x n over b of um, x m. What we would do is if n is greater than m, then this equals infinity. If m is less than n, this would equal 0. And then if m equals to n, then we would get a over b. What you can also do is plug in very high numbers instead of using infinity into a calculator. And then you can get a rough estimate of the result.